Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and to answer the question that I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of through the weekend. Um, of course, most people go in the form of, well, my computer has this hardware. Will I be able to at least go to Windows 11 um, even if I'm not supported? So here's the reasoning between behind the am I supported and the reasoning is simple. You need to have, first of all, at least 64 gigabytes of storage. So you need at least 64 gigabytes of space on a hard drive. You got that? Let's move on. At least four gigabytes of RAM. You've got that or more? Let's move on. You need TPM 1.2. How do you know if you have it? Simply go into the search box in Windows 10, type T pm.msc press enter and you will see this little page mine says I've got TPM specification version 2.0 if you have it and it says 1.2 you are unsupported but you are able to continue with the um, fact that you have this TPM 1.2 at least on your computer. Secure boot is a minimum requirement also. That means that it has to be enabled. If you've got TPM, you've got secure boot. Secure boot has been around for quite a long time now on PCs. So most of you probably just need to turn it on and turn on TPM if it doesn't show. TPM 1.2 should be on quite a lot of machines also as it was also integrated in, uh, with uh, the chipset of, of Intel and AMD uh, CPUs. Then after that, um, what's going to happen is you need 64 bits. Now, people that are saying, well, they should go to 32 bits. Uh, for one, I do agree with the fact 64 bits is the minimum and 32 bits should be abandoned. Uh, there's no need for 32 bits anymore. We it's it's unsecure and it is sluggish and 64 is a way better um, uh, thing to do and so for 32 bits to be abandoned is absolutely not a problem. Now you need to have a 64-bit processor. 64-bit processors as long you know as soon as you have a processor that is a dual core of some sort, you've got a 64-bit machine. It is as simple as that. Um, as soon as you got two cores in a machine, you're able to run 64-bit um, software. And um, so that is also not a problem. That means a big, big majority of you that have older PCs will be, once again, unsupported. But you will be allowed to go and um, go to Windows 11. Now, you won't be able to go to Windows 11 by the good old trick that everybody that is compatible will be, which is going to Windows updates, checking updates, and then it's going to show, oh, um, Windows 11, the next version of Windows is here. You can click update and it's going to work. That will show up as an optional update for regular folks. For people that have unsupported hardware, you will need to have the image or the ISO and that means when Microsoft actually does um, uh, release Windows 11 on the Windows page you'll have the download tool for the image you'll be able to create a DVD or a USB thumb drive to actually boot from and or install from that's the only way you'll be able to have the possibility to move on to uh, an unsupported uh, hardware because the rest of the ways that you, you can go up by clicking the upgrade process on the web page or by simply going to Windows Update all of that first of all Windows Update won't show up uh, Windows 11 on any machine that's not supported and if you go through for example the media creation tool and click the update from there it's immediately going to tell you you're not supported you're, you can't upgrade it's really just through the image of Windows because that means they probably will not have on the image the tools that check for these minimum requirements and stop you. They're just going to let you continue. 
they will probably pop up a message saying you're not supported, but we're still letting you upgrade to Windows 11. As for the rest, uh, with what we are learning this weekend, <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea to do so. Some of you will probably do it. Um, even though Microsoft said, well, you won't have updates or stuff like that, I suspect you, you're you probably going to have Windows security updates at least. But once again, Microsoft isn't clear, and Microsoft is quite stupid since the launch of Windows 11. So, you know, yeah, that's what you get. So that's a possibility for those that are um, in older machines. So like I said, if you have the requirements that I just told you, um, then, yep, even if it's an old, you know, seven or eight year old computer, nine year old computer, it probably will upgrade to Windows 10 through the image of Windows 11 when it's released. Another thing for those that are, um, that want to, I believe that if you put yourself in Windows, uh, in the Windows Insider program and is accepted, you might actually be able to continue, but you'll continue in the Windows Insider program. But like I said, the image, when it's released, you'll probably have. And we'll have more info as, of course, we get closer to the release date and see what's going to happen with all of that. The uh, other thing is, don't forget that you can continue using Windows 10 for the next four years, and it's going to work fine. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.